2020 has been a tough year for everyone around the world. But amidst of all the chaos and negativity, we can't lose hope. I choose to remember the things I'm grateful for. The best thing happened in 2020 was my twin Jordan's wedding on the magical island Gili Trawangan. Seeing my best friend since high school married to the most beautiful girl, Cece, made me so happy. Thank you both for letting me be a part of this wedding, and I will never forget this day. I got to reunite with my childhood friends and met many new friends as well. I loved every moment of it, except the alcohol. I am so proud to call this handsome man my twin. Although I had my ups and downs, getting to spend more time with my fur babies was so healing for my mind and body. If any of you are thinking of getting a pet, please adopt and don't shop. My love for BTS landed me my first legit product review. Thank you, BT Cosmetics. I even got a BTS tattoo, the symbol of love yourself. BTS literally saved my life with their music and message. I am in this ARMY fandom for life. Thank you, BTS. I deep dived into the world of Animal Crossing New Horizons. Thanks to Nintendo, I got to escape reality for around 600 hours. One person I miss the most is my mom. I only got to see her once this year. Here in Jakarta, I get to spend a lot of time at home with Hannah, my brother Andrew, celebrated his last year of being 30s, weekend quality time with my dad. I feel so blessed to have such a wonderful and loving family. As the year progressed, the pandemic got worse. I did a swab test every time I felt sick. It was not comfortable. I also did a couple staycation, dated some dudes, didn't work out. Single for the win. <laughs> I reconnected with my childhood bestie and we've been talking every day ever since. I even got interviewed on a Taiwanese news channel. One brave thing I've done this year was staying at a haunted house. My brother even hired a paranormal guy to cleanse our home. The only time I really traveled to somewhere new was at the end of December. I went on a cruise diving trip to Raja Ampat. I struggled and panicked constantly throughout my open water course. But in the end, I overcame my fear and got my open water license. It was so worth it. I had the privilege to explore a whole new underwater world at the most biodiverse diving spot on Earth. All these sea creatures looked like alien to me. <laughs> Seeing them up close was so trippy. If you're thinking of getting a diving license, I'd say go for it. I want to thank Angela and Mick for inviting me and organizing this trip. What an eye-opening experience. It was definitely the best way to end my 2020.